Let me ask you something. Have you ever had one of those days where you just want to go back to a game that won't leave you alone? A game that kicked your ass so badly that you won't let yourself sleep until you can beat it and finally get some closure with it? Well I do. In my Wii video, I played Super C, and I gave a very brief overview of the game. I barely talked about it, I barely showed any footage. Now looking back on it, I am very unsatisfied with myself. My review is an abysmal epic failure. But you know what? I'm gonna give myself a second chance. Oh yeah. This time, I'm actually gonna try to make it past the first stage. And... Well, I'm just gonna see how far I can actually get this time. Let's go. What was the code name? Oh yeah, right, uh, down about the Start. The game starts off awesome enough with you getting out of a chopper. And then before you know it, you have to start tapping the B button as fast as possible because there's enemies everywhere. Even when you outrun them, they still come in through the left or right side of the screen. This is usually a good spot to earn back some lives you might have lost fighting these guys. The only thing is that you're going to be here for a while. Now as you continue, you can get some power-ups to help you out along the way. The power-ups are represented by what looks like a flying bronze football. But if you get hit just once, you lose the gun you were holding. That's not a bad concept, I mean it makes you a little more observant of the environment, and trust me, observing and memorizing the environments is the only way to beat this game. This game is so intense, there's not one instant when you can stop firing your gun. Ugh, parts like these just piss me off. When you're forced to shoot the douchebags and green leotards while you're trying to shoot and avoid the enemy snipers. And then there's parts like this where the only way to tech out the enemies on the ground is to duck. But while you're ducking, the other guys that don't stop coming. I managed to make it to the first level boss, but I almost always lose my weapon upgrade when I make it this far. So all I have left is a little pea shooter. This boss isn't too bad. All you have to do is shoot the cannons on his side, and then afterwards, you have to attack an orb that appears once all the cannons have been blown to hell. The only annoying thing about this boss is that he opens the hatch in the back and enemies jump out and scramble everywhere. I have managed to beat the boss, then directly after you move on to the next stage which is an overhead view. The controls here feel a little bit tighter and shooting at an angle is just awkward and sometimes annoying. The enemies are the same, the green guys run past you and the red guys shoot you. But the green guys are carrying rifles in this segment, so why aren't they shooting you? It's like in Commando when Arnold is surrounded by henchmen who don't know how to use a gun. The first real enemy I encountered was a tank that shoots in three directions, while the tank driver shoots in whatever direction he wants. But after you get past that, you fight the exact same thing, only there's two of them this time. Damn! Well, I hate to say it, but I made it to the second level boss with very few lives, and on my last continue. So. Let's see what awaits me. Whoa! What kind of monstrosity is this? A three person tank with an electrical fence? I don't know, maybe it's a giant taser. Well, anyway, the only way to get past this behemoth is to shoot each jackass one by one. But guess what happened as soon as I got to this part? That's right, I died. And if I want a second chance of the boss, I have to start the whole game all over again. Well, I'm not ready to quit. Not yet, anyways. I hate to say it. But let's start the whole game over again and see if we can make it past the second stage boss. Let's go. Playing through the game a second time isn't so bad. I mean, you already know what to expect so far. So in a way, this should just be a cakewalk. To tell you the truth, the game isn't bad, it's just really hard. But it's also really satisfying, once you've managed to beat a boss you couldn't beat before, or make it past the stage without wasting any lives. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! One down! Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there! Yes! I finally beat that bastard! The next stage is a jungle-like stage. It kinda reminds me of the movie Predator. 
Anyway, the first enemies I encountered are these guys on purple spandex. I guess they decided to switch things up a bit. These guys are the same deal as the guys in green leotard. All they do is run past you. I came to this one part where you have to cross the river, and all the purple spandex soldiers are trudging through the water faster than you can move, and on top of that, there's even more snipers hiding in the trees! Damn! You think that's challenging enough? Well, I died here and had to do the whole thing all over again. To a certain extent, it gets tiring just having to do the same thing all over again every time you mess up. Well, I finally made it past the river, but before I could get to the next boss, I got hit by this ass wipe. The next boss is some kind of robotic arachnid. I kept getting hit by him until I realized that you can jump on him and attack him when he's moving to the other side of the screen. Come on, come on, come on! Almost got him! Yeah! He's dead. Wait. What's going on? It's not over? I beat the boss! What the hell could be next? I guess an earthquake's happening, and you have to jump over all the pits that are caving in. After that, there's yet another boss. Just how long is this level? Anyway. You find an enemy who has four orbs that attract and retract like a magnet, and they shoot pellets at you. I fired and fired away at these bastards, but I died. No more continues, no extra lives, game over. Well, like I said, it's not a bad game, it's just insanely difficult to beat. Well, before I end things, let's take a look at Contra 3. Just one more time. Thankfully, this game isn't just an improved sequel with better graphics, it's an entirely new experience. I already talked about Contra 3 in my Super Nintendo video, so there's not too much to talk about here. But there are some things that were improved upon from Super C that did make it into here. For starters, I always liked how you could hold two guns and toggle between them at will. Then there's the overhead shooter levels, again, they're much better here. I know some gamers hate these levels and think they're awkward, but I actually like them. The controls are great and I have no trouble dodging enemies. There is more of a challenge here, but I think the challenge is better and doesn't piss you off that much. Overall, I still think Contra 3 is an amazing game. And as for Super C, I have to admit, it's pretty damn fun. It can be annoying and damn near impossible, but it is by no means a bad game. Well, that wraps up my Contra series, for now anyways. As far as I know, there's plenty of other Contra games out there. I hear there's one on Genesis that's supposed to be really good. Well that, and I have yet to hold the original Contra game. So maybe we'll get to those on a later note. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.